Now, I bet you want to know why Jay-Z and Beyonce's name keep popping up around the whole Diddy thing. Well, that's why I'm here. Now, first thing you got to know is when somebody like Diddy gets taken down, things always start out as a rumor. Diddy has had rumors floating around for like decades. Well, Jay-Z had a problem. He right there in the corner, by the way. Jay-Z has had a few rumors himself, but more like speculation. People see Jay-Z in a picture of R. Kelly. They're like, mm, I guess they both make music. Then Jay-Z with Harvey Weinstein. People are like, oh, I guess they both do business. Then, of course, Jay-Z with Diddy. Now, hold on. Here's the thing. Jay-Z and Diddy go way back. I'm back, it's boy FITT at the E, and today we're gonna be taking a look at these TikTok videos. If you guys like this video, remember let's get to a thousand likes this video. If you like the chain, check the link down in the description. And the, and the scariest part about this video is that 75% of you guys are not subscribed. We're gonna be taking a look at way more than just TikToks on this channel. So if you wanna stick around for the journey, make sure to sub. A group of friends suddenly spotted a creature with large wings and glowing red eyes standing in the road. Terrified, they drove away, but the creature took flight and followed them. It swooped over them repeatedly, emitting a horrifying screech. They finally lost it, but were left shaken, convinced they had encountered something supernatural. This terrifying case became one of the most famous Mothman sightings. These unverified sightings began to spread fear throughout West Virginia. Now, most believe it was simply a local legend fueled by fear and hysteria. But with no concrete evidence, the Mothman remains an eerie mystery. It's, kind of, it's funny how we got 4K images of Mars before we got GTA 6. Nah, if you're asking me, bro, it kind of looks like Nevada. Like, I've been out to Vegas and, like, um, south, southern areas of the United States, like Texas. It's almost like you're expecting to see, like, a dollar tree, like, a dollar general just come up in a corner or something. If you have an unsightly mole, you might think you can just cut it off yourself. But you actually shouldn't do this. You see, moles can sometimes extend deeper than what you see, often with roots that connect to blood vessels and nerves. Slicing it off yourself could cause serious bleeding, scarring, and even leave behind cancerous tissue. Instead, a dermatologist can safely remove it using techniques that won't harm you. An eight-year-old girl bravely fought off a terrifying intruder who entered her home in the middle of the night wearing a clown mask. On the 15th of October, a scene unfolded in a small town like that from a horror film. At around 1.30 a.m., a man broke into a child's bedroom in Colorado. Police described the incident as an attempted child abduction with the man entering the room in a dark hoodie and a cloth clown mask. Terrifyingly, the little girl was blindfolded and snatched off her bed as the man tried to take her from her bedroom. She was subject to quite a brutal attack by the intruder and bravely fought him off until he hit her over the head and knocked her out. Fortunately, it seems that he was spooked in the process of this and fled the scene. Now, it apparently took police over an hour to get to the incident at the property, but they did manage to gather vital evidence and then track the intruder down. They revealed his identity as 56-year-old Thomas Galligos. They were able to arrest him and charge him with multiple serious offences, such as burglary, assault, kidnapping and child abuse. The little girl did sustain cuts and bruises and was obviously traumatized by the attack, but fortunately did live to tell the tale. This is how rare your body actually is. Starting off, only 5% of people have tied tongues, so if you have this, you're pretty rare. Basically, this is where your tongue is tied to the bottom of your mouth, impacting your speech and eating. Next up is Morton's toe, and if you have this, you're probably pretty rare. Only 10% of the population has this, and this is where your index toe is bigger than your big toe. Okay, this next one is crazy. 1% of people actually have unbreakable bones. 
This is a genetic mutation which causes people's bones to be more dense than the average human. And one person who had this condition actually walked away from a car crash unharmed. Next, about 50% of people can fit their hand in their mouth. Sounds a bit high, so if you actually can, let me know. If you can tickle yourself, you're in the rare 7% of the population that can do this. About 10% of people suffer from eczema, which is a skin rash and is so annoying. And finally, we have the 16% of people that can make a roaring noise in their head by clenching their jaw. I have a Mormon's toe, I think that's what he said, right? Where the, where the index one is bigger than the big toe? Yeah, that's me, that's me. Yeah. Crazy part is, most people believe that these three things will actually save your life. They don't. Let's pretend you're lost in the desert and you need water and you don't have any. So where are some places you can get water? One commonly held terrible piece of advice is to drink your own pee because it's mostly made up of water, except there's 5% of that that's all made up of just waste from your body. And even though the urine might keep you alive a little bit longer, you'll ultimately die of kidney failure. So you don't drink your own pee. Instead, you head over to some cactus you see nearby because you remember reading or hearing in school that you can drink the water inside of cactus. Except unless it's one really specific kind of cactus, you'll be drinking lots of alkaloids and chemicals that will make you vicious ill and you'll start vomiting and you'll have diarrhea and you'll die from dehydration much faster. So as you're sitting there wondering what you're going to do next, a venomous snake bites you. And so you instinctively start sucking on the bite to remove the poison, but you can't because it goes right in your bloodstream and all you'll do is die much faster from infection. You know, it would have been nice if he actually told us what we should have done if we're in that situation, but I guess not. At least we know what we shouldn't do. Have you ever seen the infamous picture from inside the basement of Fun Zone? And I'm going to get into some of the backstory about what it is that we're actually looking at here. But what I can tell you is that when I did see it, my heart sunk. For some backstory, if you don't know what Fun Zone is, this is kind of a relic of the late 90s, early 2000s. It had lots of iterations over the years, but it was effectively like an indoor amusement park or arcade. It used to be like a really fun place to be. It had a handful of carnival rides, indoor roller coasters, all the works. So Fun Zone eventually did close down and they boarded up the doors. I guess the problem was is that that didn't stop people from breaking in. One of the eeriest things about this location was that they didn't sell off any of the equipment that was inside. It just kind of remained in place. Eventually, upon one of the break-ins where somebody went in they made their way to the basement where they found an abandoned cell phone and that is where we get this picture nobody really knows who took the photo or what really happened to them but if you look a bit closer to the background you will see the same thing that I do. You can see it if I make the photo brighter. Whoever was exploring Fun Zone, they came face to face with a person in that basement. Don't forget, if scary stories like this are of interest to you, make sure to go check them out right on the podcast. We're always told to drink a lot of water throughout the day, but have you ever wondered what happens when you drink too much water? Well, 35-year-old Ashley Summers drank 64 ounces of water in a span of 20 minutes and passed away from water toxicity. Ashley, her husband, and two daughters were at Lake Freeman in Indiana when she began feeling dehydrated. So she drank four bottles of water because for some reason she wasn't able to quench her thirst. Ashley complained about having a horrible headache and she began to feel lightheaded. When she got home with her family, she passed out in the garage and she was taken to the hospital where the doctor said she had brain swelling. Ashley never woke up and she was pronounced dead from water toxicity. A toxicologist said that this is more likely to happen to someone who's extremely dehydrated, which will cause them to drink too much water and not enough sodium or electrolytes. So remember, bring more than just water on really hot days especially if you're under the sun for a long period of time here's why you might not want to visit your mom on her birthday a man was stuck in traffic while driving home after visiting his mother for her birthday the man was so frustrated that when the gps told him to take a detour he went right away which might have been a mistake his gas light then came on so he decided to pull into this super barren town to fill up his tank so the man went in pumped his gas and when he went to pay the clerk was super weird he didn't acknowledge him and just gave him a creepy smile the man then went outside and saw a woman just standing in the middle of the road and said are you okay? And the woman looked at him and said, Ah, yes, we are happy here. The man was like, what the and just drove out of there. Till a cop pulled him over and said, Sir, you can't drive. Driving's illegal here. The man had had enough and literally just went pedal to the metal and zoomed out of there. When he got home, he was just so confused. The people looked real but didn't act human. He tried to research it but decided, Next year, I'm just sending my mom a card. Y'all know when you know someone faking something and you just look at him like, Yo, this dude is faking it. I don't know why, but when he was telling that story, I couldn't even pay attention to the story. Weird Nature Facts, Part 37. In proportion to body weight, koalas have one of the smallest brains of any mammal. They're so dumb that when presented with leaves on a flat surface instead of on branches, they are unable to recognize them as food and will not eat them. 
Dogs get sprayed by skunks so often because skunks raise their tails as a warning. Dogs see this as come smell my butt, which is the exact opposite message of what the skunk is trying to send. In Germany, it is illegal to kill any vertebrate animal without proper reason. Because of this, all German animal shelters are no kill. In the 1980s, Ken the orangutan escaped from his enclosure at the San Diego Zoo multiple times. His apparent goals were visiting other animals, taking photos with tourists, and throwing rocks at his orangutan rival. Here are some disturbing facts about Disney. Many scenes in Toy Story are inspired by the horror movie The Shining. The voice actor that did Lilo in Lilo and Stitch also played the ghost girl in The Ring. The Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland feature real human skeletons. Also at Disneyland, there are vents that pump out artificial smells to keep you happy. After the release of Princess and the Frog, over 50 kids went to hospital for salmonella. They tried to kiss a frog. Do you know any other creepy things about Disney? Leave a comment. Here's some of the creepiest videos on the internet. Part 10. The popular American rapper XXXTentacion was murdered on June 18th, 2018, and his death broke the hearts of many. Many people visited his memorial to leave gifts, but some people captured much more. The YouTube channel The Fam recorded a video trying to communicate with this beloved rapper, but accidentally captured this. <laughs> But someone else got a lot more than this. The YouTube channel Selva the Explorer got to speak with him through her spirit box. Here's some things he had to say. What is your favorite song that you ever recorded? What's the name of your favorite song? Are you in the white light? Is there anything else you want to tell us? Imagine you're the, the, the parents or the family members of XXXTentacion, also known as Jose Dwayne Onfroy, and you just see two YouTubers just go to your son's grave just talking about, are you in the light or the dark? Yeah, I don't know if this is the most disturbing, but this is definitely top five. This is Malgas Island, and up to 60,000 of these birds called Cape Gannets will nest here. But don't worry, I'm gonna get to it. So normally these parents take turns with one going out for food with the other staying behind to guard the chick. But because of overfishing, oftentimes both parents will go out for food leaving the chick all alone on the island. Which wouldn't be a problem if they didn't know that. Cause groups of these white pelicans will fly over to the islands and then walk around looking for any unsupervised gannet chicks. So that they can grab the baby birds and eat them alive while they're still struggling. And sometimes they'll just push the parents out the way and then swallow the newborn children right in front of them. It somehow gets worse. Those same pelicans will fly back to their nest and vomit the half-digested recently murdered baby birds for the pelican chicks to eat. And because Cape Gannets have no real way to defend themselves, pelicans have no reason to stop. And since pelicans obviously don't have teeth, those chicks last moments were spent suffocating while being digested alive by stomach acid only to get regurgitated and eaten twice. Dinosaurs never went extinct. They just rebranded with feathers. Some people actually believe that dinosaurs had feathers. Like dinosaurs were never just scaly, they're actually feathery. This is proof that we aren't alone. Okay, so in Wyoming, there's a strange mountain in the middle of nowhere with ridges on it, and no one seems to know why. Now, most people say that this is because of erosion. However, there's a theory behind this mountain that will absolutely shock you. And as the theory says, the real reason as to why this mountain has ridges is not because of erosion, but because of a giant bear. The said bear is said to be named Mato and is about 60 feet tall, weighing over 10 tons. And this story even goes as far back as the Stone Age with drawings of a gigantic bear attacking tribes on wall caves. However, this creature has not been seen since. So this video went viral sometime last year when this woman and her kids along with her friend and her friend's kids went out to eat after a doctor's appointment. While they sat at this restaurant, this random man came out of nowhere and tried to grab one of their daughters and pull her out of the restaurant. The two mothers had a total of six kids with them and they were all seated on this table but in front of them were two other young kids who happened to be snapchatting while this whole thing went down and 
they caught this crazy moment. When the mother realized that this man had grabbed her daughter, she stood up right away and said, oh hell no. And then he said, I'm just playing and he let go of the little girl. There is no way this man is just playing around. He intended to take that little girl and he probably thought it was gonna be easy because there's just two moms with six kids at this table. Humanoid robots are getting creepier by the day. A startup from Poland called Clone Robotics uh, is on a mission to create some of the most human-like robots ever. Even going as far as to use a musculoskeletal body using hydraulic tendon muscles covered in this stretchy skin-like fabric. And it's not just for show because they claim that it is the strongest biomimetic hand in the world. Oh, and just like in the movies, uh, their artificial muscles bleed if punctured. So yeah, things are getting serious now. I thought we watched enough movies to know that we shouldn't be making like human advanced artificial intelligence. Dark things Disney doesn't want you to know, part four. Today, let's talk about the mysterious disappearance of Rebecca Coriam. Rebecca Coriam was a 24 year old worker on the Disney Wonder cruise ship. On March 22nd, 2011, while working on the cruise ship, Rebecca disappeared without a trace. This is one of the last photos taken of her and it was from CCTV footage. At 5.45 a.m. that morning, footage revealed Rebecca talking on the phone with someone. She seemed visibly distressed. Now here's where it gets twisted. Many people believe that Dizzy knows exactly what happened to Rebecca, but are trying to cover up this whole thing. Let me explain. For starters, the captain of the ship said that Rebecca was just washed over by a big wave. They then gave Rebecca's parents a sandal and said that this was hers and it was retrieved from the deck that she was last seen on. Number one, the sandal wasn't her size. Number two, it wasn't her style. It was also revealed that Disney had edited the CCTV footage. Check out part two on this case for more information. Did you know that they may have just exposed Satan's city? What's even more crazy is there's people living there right now and it's not hell. Whilst addressing a church in Revelation chapter 2 verse 13, Jesus exposes the city of Satan. Watch this. Jesus says, I know where you live, a place where Satan sits enthroned. And he says that same place is where his faithful witness Antipas died. Saint Antipas was martyred by being burnt in a bronze bull in Geneva, Switzerland. Like this literally happened under the rule and reign of Nero. And you're never gonna guess what's happening in Geneva, Switzerland right now. It's home to an organization called CERN, whose you know logo just happens to be 666. And their goal in life is to develop a machine that can actually tear a hole between the natural and supernatural realm. And they just made a discovery of something called the God particle, but that's a video for another time. Subscribe now if you love Jesus. This is the disturbing truth about Christmas. This is Black Peter, and he spends the whole year spying on kids, taking note on who has been good and who has been bad. Every single Christmas, Black Peter goes with Santa from house to house, and while Santa gives presents to the good kids, Black Peter punishes the bad ones, and this is what he does to them. At first, he will leave you a bag of twigs and a pile of coal. But if you have been really bad, Black Peter will snatch you from your bed and throw you into a sack. He will then kidnap you and take you to his coal mine, where he will chain you up and make you his slave. You will then work for him for the rest of your life. And if Black Peter ever gets sick of you, he will just simply eat you. So if this doesn't motivate you to make the nice list, then I don't know what will. This is the story of the silent man. In 2014, a 51-year-old man in the UK named David Hampson decided to stand in the middle of a busy road and block the traffic. The incident was then reported and police officers arrived at the scene to see what was going on. But when they tried to talk to David to get him to move, he wouldn't say a word and just stood there, so they arrested him. From his arrest to when he was brought to court, David still remained completely silent and wouldn't even talk to his lawyer. Although since no one knew his motives and he hadn't actually hurt anyone, David was let go soon afterwards. But all he did was just go back to that same street and stand there, silent, once again. And he committed this same crime over and over again for the next seven years, never saying a word to anyone. Even though he was jailed multiple times, every time he was released, he would just go back to that same street and do the exact same thing. All the doctors who had tried to help David failed because he refused to speak to them. And it was reported that the only time anyone had ever heard him speak was when he was giving food and water. And he said, thanks. Finally, in 2020, David was given 3.5 years in prison for his actions and is still yet to speak to anyone on why he did it. 
They say bro does the same exact thing when he's out of prison. So just keep bro in prison. If you believe in God, stay away from Halloween. Muslims, Christians, or anyone who believes in God, Halloween is a pagan festival. It involves evil spirits, jinns, and shaitan. It is forbidden for Muslims and real Christians will know the truth. Please do not associate with it and stay away. Share this everywhere and spread awareness. All right, guys, let's talk about Krampus. Krampus comes from old German folklore. He's the opposite of Santa Claus and he punishes misbehaving children on Christmas. You might be asking, what does he do to punish these misbehaving children? He stuffs them in his bag and takes them back to his lair. He either eats them or tortures them. He also has a whole gang of minions that help him do this. Krampus is celebrated around many parts of Europe and there have been a lot of petitions to ban him. This is because people are scared of the legend and they don't want to keep doing it. But every single year during Christmas time, there are always reports of Krampus sightings all over the place. Let me know what you guys think about Krampus in the comment section below. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 3. The first firefighter killed in 9 11 attacks was struck dead by a falling body in the courtyard. One of them was killed on his way in, and the other was killed on his way out. Right now, there are tiny little bugs on your face munching on your dead skin. Your bones are wet. If you don't have kids, you will break an unbroken line of children that has gone on for tens of millions of years. A scientist studying death asked a man who was about to be executed by a guillotine if he would blink after his head was chopped off. He ended up blinking for 30 seconds. Most laugh tracks for TV shows were recorded in the early 1950s, meaning that you hear dead people laugh. If you're attacked by a bear, it won't try to kill you like other predators. Instead, it'll just start eating you. One day, someone will mention you for the last time, then they'll never, ever mention you again. Here are the creepiest Christmas urban legends, part one. Ever heard of the Yule Cat? This is an extremely creepy cat that's said to originate from Iceland. According to stories, the Yule Cat enjoys snacking on people during the holiday season. And what makes the Yule Cat even weirder is that it specifically targets people who haven't received any new clothing before Christmas Eve. Iceland is also home to Gryla. According to Iceland lore, Gryla is a giant ogress who leaves her cave in the mountains to feed on children during Christmas. To make the story even creepier, Gryla keeps the Yule Cat as a pet. What the hell is going on in Iceland? Then we have Belschnickel, and this one comes from Germany. According to people of the Rhine, Belschnickel is an old bearded man who visits children during the holidays with Santa Claus. If you were good that year, he'd give you cakes and candy. If you were bad, well, Belschnickel would pull out a switch and whip the children until they behaved. This is probably why Dwight from The Office loved him so much. There's also Krampus. This is one you've probably heard about from movies and books. In the Alpines, Krampus is a horned demonic figure who visits the homes of naughty children on December 5th and punishes them. In some versions, of the story, he hits them with birch rods. In others, he straight up takes them back down to hell with him. The Germans definitely know how to scar kids for life. Scary things hidden in Disney movies. In Mona, Olaf from Frozen appears in Mona's basket. In Wally, Rex from Toy Story All Alone, Among the Junk. Dora the Explorer. You may think it's just some ordinary cartoon, but there's actually a big secret behind it. Dora the Explorer is actually blind, and here's proof. If you watch the show, you'll notice Dora never actually looks at what she's talking about. She always looks in another direction and doesn't even blink. This also explains why her parents make her take Boots everywhere, because Boots is actually a secret service animal. Even in this scene right here, Boots is counting the coins and she's not looking anywhere near that. And this explains why she always asks obvious questions to the audience. Here's what famous cartoon characters would look like in real life, and the last one will freak you out. This is what Homer Simpson would look like as a real person. And this is a 3D rendering of Mario. Buzz Lightyear doesn't actually look too different in real life. And Bart Simpson seems to have a missing chin when he turns real. Stewie Griffin from Family Guy doesn't look too different. But SpongeBob SquarePants might freak you out. Maps that will change the way you see the world. These cities are all still owed money from the Trump campaign. There are now over 50 countries generating over 50% of their electricity from renewable energy. This shows the employment rates for 15 to 29 year olds in Europe. The darkest blue areas are over 80% and the dark 
darkest red areas are under 30%. This is how much it costs to hold a prisoner in each state in the United States. In Arkansas, it only costs $23,000, but in Maine, it costs over $300,000. 33% of the entire country of Switzerland lives within five kilometers of the main train line that goes through the country. This map shows how population is dispersed through France with the same amount of people living in the green as in the red. This map shows how many people by percentage in each country in Europe actually speak French. And this map is highlighting every city that was founded by the French in the United States. These are scary cartoon truths that would terrify you, part eight. Okay, so the Teletubbies is a dark nightmare about genetically engineered slave creatures being systematically trained to become part of our society. The Teletubbies aren't in control of their own destiny and three things control their day-to-day -day life. First is the voice, which is a tiny female voice that tells them when they could eat, sleep, say hello, or even say goodbye. The robotic voice comes from a speaker in the ground, hinting that something larger lies beneath. Next up is Nunu. He's a harmless vacuum cleaning robot who follows the Teletubbies and cleans up all the messes that they make, and also yelling at them for bad decisions. Nunu is just the watchdog of the Teletubbies. Finally is the pinwheel. Whenever the pinwheel starts to spin, the Teletubbies stop everything they're doing and run to the top of the hill to perform a ritual. People believe the Teletubbies is based on the end of the world. Saudi Arabia has just said that the groundwork for what would become the largest structure on Earth is now 86% complete. Now, not only would it be large enough to fit 20 Empire State Buildings inside, but similar to the Las Vegas Sphere, in its center will be this spiral-shaped tower encased by a VR dome that essentially could create anything your mind could imagine, whether that be on Mars, under the ocean, balcony views of Pandora, and even whatever the hell these things are. So the question is, do you think they'll be able to complete this by 2030? Or not. An 11 year old boy came across this girl buried underneath the sand, and this is what happened. A young boy named Connor Fitzgerald was building sandcastles with a couple of his friends at the Marina Dunes Beach in California. The boys soon moved to digging holes in the sand and challenged each other to see who could dig the deepest. As Connor was digging his hole, he suddenly hit something with his right hand. He dug deeper and realized that it was a bag. He dug around the bag, grabbed it, pulled it out, and was shocked when he realized that the bag was still attached to its owner. Connor then dug back more sand to find a little girl buried underneath. He called out for help, but there were no adults around, so he single-handedly pulled her out of the sand. The little girl was completely limp and wasn't breathing. Connor then thought back to an episode of NCIS where he saw a character perform CPR. As he started the procedure, a young couple walking down the beach started sprinting toward them. An 11 year old boy came across this girl buried underneath the sand and this is what happened. Part 2. The people running toward them were the girl's parents. They were confused why a little boy was administering CPR to their daughter Alyssa, but they let him continue while they called the paramedics. It seemed as if Alyssa was breathing again, but only the paramedics could determine whether Connor performed the procedure correctly. When the ambulance arrived, they rushed her to the hospital and said that a sand cave had collapsed on her, and that if Connor hadn't performed CPR, she would have suffocated. Eventually, she made a complete recovery, and Connor was given a National Youth Hero Award for his brave actions. Yo, give it up to Connor, bro. W man's, bro. He literally just saved someone's life. That's like such a rare incident. The very popular Ariana Grande is currently going viral for, let's just say, a very interesting reason. So for those of you that don't know, this is Ariana Grande's boyfriend right here behind me. And I really just want all of you to get a really good look at his face. Just once again, there he is. And now here's what Ariana Grande's brother looks like. Let me move out of the way really quick. Do you notice a difference between the both of them? Uh, not really. A lot of people are starting to realize that Ariana Grande's brother and boyfriend literally look the same. Here's the both of them side by side. Once again, let me move out of the way. And the more and more I look at this picture right here, the more and more kind of just creepy it gets. So as more and more people have started to find this out, a lot of people just cannot understand how Ariana Grande could date a guy that literally looks very similar to her brother. As you can see right here, just once again, they, they do look really similar. I'm just not going to lie with all of you. And uh, I'm really curious to know your thoughts about all this. I don't know. When I looked into both of their eyes, they're, both of their eyes looked almost the exact same. Like... 
I don't know, man. Maybe it might be the same soul. So if you got this far in the video, remember to like the video. Our like goal is still a thousand likes. We hit it our last video, so if you got if you got this far, remember to like it. I'm In my head, I'm thinking like, think about all the animals that just drink still water like that. I'm like, dude, all of that things were in their bodies. Think tortoises are slow? Look at how they take care of this entire yard full of overgrown grass in five hours. We've sped it up so you don't have to set through it all. But for those that don't know, this is a thing in California and a lot of other places, maybe not a lot, but some other places, people put these tortoises in their yard and they're huge and they live like a crazy long time, like 75 years, I think. But they eat grass and like, if you don't have grass that like, they um, feed it like lettuce and vegetables and stuff, but <laughs> just riding each other. But they just completely take care of this overgrown yard in five hours. I should get me some of these and not have to cut my grass anymore. And these tortoises, I guess I heard that they can live like up to a year without water and they can survive in places like where the ground gets above like 140 degrees. <laughs> First I did that is braver than me because I'm thinking like bro if I feel I feel like having a phone in general in North Korea is legal bro I feel like if I just whip out my phone I'm already just in a death camp. This is insane. 18 North Korean soldiers have gone AWOL on the border near Ukraine, right? With Russia. 
we need to break this down because a Ukrainian news site is citing intelligence sources saying that North Korean soldiers who are in Russia training have gone AWOL. The report goes on to say that 18 North Korean soldiers fled their positions somewhere on the border between Bransk and Kursk regions on Russia, just seven kilometers or about four miles away from the border with Ukraine. At this time, we have no idea why these North Korean soldiers went AWOL. But according to this source, the Russian forces are currently hunting them down while other commanders are trying to cover up the entire incident and hiding it from the North Command, or at least the higher command in Moscow. This just comes hours and days after it was announced that it's 10,000 troops that are training to fight in Ukraine, that North Korea is breaking up the roads in between North and South Korea for some unknown reason, and that the partnership between North Korea and Russia is just strengthening more and more. This cooperation between North Korea and Russia is going to get worse. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated, especially because North Korea is still providing Russia with tons and tons of weapons. A lot of them not working, but still, this is going to get worse. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated, so be sure to follow me for more. Honestly, though, can you blame those North Korean soldiers? They're probably just like, dude, I'm trying to just chill with my family. That's why they just dip. And by the way, for those who don't know, AWOL means that it means they just pretty much went missing. I'm pretty sure it means... um away without official leave or something like that like they're just just they just dipped they're just like i'm out of here i can't blame them just hearing them destroy south korea the roads leading to south korea means that they're probably preparing for war like something big is going to happen in the near future so hey man if you're still here in the u.s or wherever you are just prepare for something crazy to happen in the next coming year when a 79 year old harvard lawyer says that there is a ufo base underneath this island right here i didn't buy it at first but then i did some more research on the island of guadalupe and it's suspicious as shit. The island off the coast of Baja, California used to be a hot spot for cage diving with great white sharks. But in 2023, the Mexico government shut it down completely citing conservation as the reason. Before it was closed, there were reports of strange lights and strange sounds coming from this island from guests that visited to go diving with the great white sharks. Because this island is so far away from light pollution and only about 150 people live here, you can see the sky really clear. And people reported that they would see strange lights moving in strange directions or moving way too fast. But that's not it, they would also see strange lights under the water and they said sometimes they would follow the boats or move in directions that you wouldn't see a fish do. On top of all of that, visitors report that their electronics did not work properly on Island Guadalupe. Making it even more suspicious as shit, there is a magnetic anomaly on the seafloor beneath this island. It's actually labeled Anomaly 5A. You can look it up. Scientists say that it's been there for at least 12 million years. I don't know how the fuck they know that. Not only do we have a Harvard lawyer saying that a UFO base is located underneath this island, we have a magnetic anomaly. We have visitors who are researchers and divers and fishermen and all that saying that they see strange lights above it and below it. And then on top of that, we've got electronics don't work on this island. This is the only place in the ocean you are banned from ever going to. One wrong move can send you to the afterlife in a split second. These are wind turbines in the ocean or better known as a wind turbine farm. So what makes them so scary? Well, these wind turbines are generating well over 35 million volts of electricity. This is enough to power over 2 million homes a day. That electricity is all being carried by cables that run under the water. The electric current is so powerful, the, the cables produce a magnetic field underwater. This field drives aquatic life away from it, which makes the area lifeless. If someone were to crash into one, it would cause catastrophic damage to the nearby area, and you would be face to face with God in the matter of a split second. So next time you think about touring these giant fans, think twice. Now, I bet you want to know why Jay-Z and Beyonce's name keep popping up around the whole Diddy thing. Well, that's why I'm here. Now, first thing you got to know is when somebody like Diddy gets taken down, things always start out as a rumor. Diddy has had rumors floating around for like decades. Well, Jay-Z had a problem. He right there in the corner, by the way. Jay-Z has had a few rumors himself, but more like speculation. People see Jay-Z in a picture of R. Kelly. They're like, mm, I guess they both make music. Then Jay-Z will Harvey Weinstein. People are like, oh, I guess they both do business. 
Then, of course, Jay-Z with Diddy. Now, hold on, here's the thing. Jay-Z and Diddy go way back, like back to the days when they were both coming up. So you could say they might just have a lot of respect for each other. But on the other hand, people are like, well, if you've known each other that long, Jay-Z, you must have known what Diddy was on. But Jay-Z has always had a history of keeping quiet, which brings us to Aaliyah. Now, I'm sure y'all remember R. Kelly dated Aaliyah when she literally needed her parents' permission slip to get married. Now, if I remember correctly, her parents got the permission slip and said, marry who? And that's how this whole thing got exposed. Now, a lot of people in the industry actually knew about this relationship because they would work with R. Kelly. They would be in the studio with R. Kelly. Now, according to Dame Dash, who listened closely, was Jay-Z's first business partner and also dated Aaliyah when she was 21. He said, this is how it went. He said he didn't want anything to do with R. Kelly because everyone knew what type of timing R. Kelly was on. He looks over at Jay-Z and Jay-Z's out here creating collab albums with R. Kelly. But then he saw why. For starters, everyone had a crush on Aaliyah. People were waiting down the clock until she turned 18 but Jay-Z decided to get a head start. Now, there's absolutely no proof that Jay-Z went after Aaliyah, but people were like, hmm, uh, let me see another picture. Hmm. Hmm. But apparently Jay-Z wasn't successful and Dame Dash started dating her when she was 21. Now, what does this all have to do with Diddy? It's the secrets. It's the like what happened to Diddy making people wonder. Nas came out, well he technically didn't come out and say this, but while he was having his legendary beef with Jay-Z, he's doing a radio interview and he's saying, it's weird that Jay-Z be working with people that need a permission slip to marry somebody, R. Kelly. But again, rumors, kind of like what was happening to Diddy. But then this lawyer comes out and says, boy, do I got some news for y'all. And here's where it starts to get wicked. Now he's going after Diddy, specifically, listen closely, anyone that Diddy might have done something to, or anyone who has watched Diddy do some of these things and stayed silent about it. Now, first of all, the lawyer's taking calls from anyone. So theoretically, anyone could just call trying to get some money saying, Diddy did this to me, Diddy should pay me. But in the lawyer's defense, I'm sure he's looking for people with proof. Honestly, I don't know him, he could be trash. Anyway, what he said next is what got people interested. He said, and I got some names. He said some wild names. Some names that will blow your mind. He's, he's selling this. He's saying, yo, y'all finna wild out when you hear these names. I'm not gonna say it now, but y'all finna wild out. So people are like, hmm. Now in Beyonce's case, it's just cause she's married to Jay-Z and she's been in the industry for like 20 years. People are like, you must have known something, but that's all people have. Now in Jay-Z's defense, he's famously all about the money. As far as we've seen, he's always been around Diddy for like a public event or when money's involved. And the same could be said for all the other people he was around. He could have thought, oh, R. Kelly's huge right now. Let me do an album with him to boost my name up. Many people have come out saying Jay-Z is a cutthroat businessman, kind of like Bill Gates, who I actually think is a sociopath, but that's a story for another day. And cutthroat businessmen will cross any line and work with anyone to get what they want. Because at the end of the day, to them, it's just business. That being said, that doesn't make this a good thing. That's why Jay-Z can still be prosecuted for watching crimes happen but not saying anything about it. But at the end of the day, as you probably know, Jay-Z is rich. He not going to jail for that. He would need an insane amount of evidence and even then he would still probably get off. But that doesn't really matter in some cases. A lot of times reputation is the most important thing. So a lot of times the courts will take a case they know they can't win or sign a deal just to get the rumor mill started and get people going, yo, why did Bill Cosby sign a deal? For those of you that don't know, Bill Cosby was arrested like 20 years before the big you know, allegations came out. They told him, just tell us you did it and we won't broadcast this. He said, absolutely. I need to save my reputation. People started asking questions, boom, boom, boom. 20 years later, he goes to jail. But he actually did get out because the cops did say they were gonna keep his confession low key, but then they used it against him 20 years later. But anyway, back to Jay-Z. At the end of the day, this could go any way. The thing is, Diddy's sloppy. He was bound to get caught. Jay-Z, not sloppy. So he would be a tough one to catch. But on the other hand, the FBI is pretty good at their jobs. And remember that lawyer from earlier that's going against Diddy and is gathering all those names on his alleged accomplices? Well, he also said that he gave a lot of his information to the FBI. And if Jay-Z's name pops up, he's in trouble because how the FBI works is they'll take that information and they'll put it in a little vault with all the other information they might have on Jay-Z. When it's enough to lock him up, that's when they'll come out. So if you see the words FBI and Jay-Z in the same sentence, it's a wrap. I don't know. I feel like Jay-Z definitely knew what was going on with that Diddy situation because he was around him a lot. But also, I do feel like he was also like just a businessman where like, you know, he puts a business first because he's trying to get what he's trying to get to. But I don't know. We'll see in the future if Jay-Z was a part of anything Diddy-wise. So let's look out for that. Thank you all for watching this here video.